Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the vlog and first things first, uh, since this is just a day number three of my cut, it is a pretty good uh, place to show you my starting physique. I'm gonna start with some relaxed poses. So this is me completely relaxed from the front, from the side, from the back, and then we will move into some tense poses. So tense from the front, from the side, delt, and from the back. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my starting physique to be honest. Like I never like getting too bulky on a bulk. I like keeping it extremely lean as most of you know. Uh, so over the course of my bulk, which is about eight months long I think, uh, I gained approximately three and a half or four kg. So maybe around 0 0.5 kg per month. So it's pretty perfect. You know, I'm, I'm in a strong position now to make really good progress. And what I mean by that is I have approximately eight weeks to cut, but that should be plenty of time to get pretty shredded, I think. Um, and that's why I don't understand why people lose the run of themselves on their bulk and like go gaining loads of fat because it just means that they're gonna have to cut for months and months and months uh, to get back down to that body fat percentage that they are happy with. So if you keep your bulk lean, it just minimizes the time that you have to cut for. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm just drinking some coffee now and I'm gonna go upstairs and do some midweek check-ins with my clients And I'm thinking of keeping this vlog like really raw like basically just bring you along with me for the day And see what we get up to you know, I don't really I've never really done that style of video before so I'm excited to do it anyway Talk to you in a bit. Okay, so it is just before 12 o'clock and I'm about to go downstairs and make my breakfast But before I do I want to touch on this weight log so as you can see here these are my weights for the last three days so on Monday I was 79.6 kg which is extremely heavy for me but I think it was just from the cheat day video that I recorded on Saturday and my weight and my body was still kind of uh, getting back to normal after it on Tuesday it came right down and that's kind of a lot more accurate you know that's kind of what my weight is at the moment but this morning it spiked back up to 78.7 kg and that is kind of frustrating I have to say you know it's not nice seeing your weight uh, kind of spike up on the scales when your goal is to lose weight when you are cutting but that is just the reality of it you know the scales can be so unpredictable so it's important not to read too much into individual weigh-ins and that's actually why I like to do uh, this average weigh-in thing so what I basically do each week is add my weights up from Monday to Sunday divide by seven and that is my average weight for the week and then I will compare that to week two to week three to week four and I judge my progress that way so yeah what that basically does is just takes the pressure off individual weigh-ins and if your weight does spike up one day, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. That's the way it should be, you know? All right, so it is 12.03 and I am just about to have my first meal of the day and intermittent fasting is something I will be using um, during this cut to help me, but I'll touch on that in a future video. So what I'm gonna have is an omelet. So we have everything here. I am gonna have two eggs, two egg whites, some spinach, mushrooms, and four slices of ham as well. And I am also gonna have a slice of this 60 calorie uh, bread. So I always add some paprika to my omelet and when it is ready on the bottom, I put it in the oven, like so. The oven is on like full blast. And just keep it in there for a minute or two. All right, let's see how we are looking, I oh, know. Oh yes. It's good. And some toast. Okay, so I'm just finished my breakfast and I figured now is a good time to meal prep. Uh, because I'm full and meal prep when you're hungry just doesn't go well together because you just end up like picking stuff off the pan and all that stuff. But I got a delivery yesterday from Kerrigan's, which is a butcher's, 
and yeah I basically just got a lot of meat and I usually uh, buy my meat from Aldi kind of on a weekly basis but I thought this would just be a much more time efficient and cost efficient I'd probably save money by doing this as well just by buying it in bulk and not having to worry about it for another month or so so let me show you what I got I haven't even properly gone through this myself so I got 1 kg of chicken fillets I got 1 kg of premium minced beef which is basically just uh, really really lean beef and uh, so there's barely any fat on it and the calories are lower I got two of these fake away things so one is taco fries and the other one is a spice box both are really calorie friendly and they're so high in protein as well I'm really looking forward to trying them and um, I got more chicken here what else did we get and then I just got loads of turkey burgers so I already opened a packet yesterday some here in my fridge so this one here is oh you can't see it so these are spicy turkey burgers but i also got some more spicy turkey burgers what other flavors did i get piri piri um and we got buffalo ones as well so yeah now i think i'm just going to prepare a few bits that will do me for the next few days so i'm going to prepare the rest of these turkey burgers so there's five left in here and I am also going to prepare some veg. So yeah, I kind of prep differently to a lot of people because I only prep my meats and my veg in advance and then I just add in whatever carbs I am feeling on a particular day. So if one day I'm feeling pasta, I'll have some pasta with my meat and veg. If one day I'm feeling potatoes, I'll have some potatoes uh, with my meat and veg and so on and so on. So what I'm gonna do is oven bake my turkey burgers and I would usually add some spice uh, to the top but they are already spicy enough because they are called spicy turkey burgers and then while they are cooking away I am gonna fry up some Asian stir fry veg so there is 750 grams in each bag and they I usually spread that over three meals so 250 grams with each meal I find that this Cajun spice just goes so well with veg and everything to be honest I just love Cajun so much and we are good to go so three portions of veg uh, five turkey burgers all done in about 20 25 minutes simple as that look what I just found stuck inside probably doesn't know what's going on right now come on Good luck little fella. Okay, so it is 10 to 4 and I am just about uh, to walk to the gym and I'm doing this thing recently where I park in the industrial estate before uh, my gym so it takes me like 10 or 15 minutes to walk there. So this is a good way to get my steps in. I'd much prefer to hit my step goal which is 70,000 steps per week uh, by doing things like walking outdoors, getting some fresh air, walking the dogs uh, as opposed to walking on the treadmill, you know? And before I get going, I actually want to fill you in on my starting calories and macros. So um, in terms of calories, I am aiming for 2,500 calories per day, which is a significant drop from last week where I was consuming like 3,200 or 3,300 calories per day, but it's still alright. Like 2,500 calories per day is still a significant amount of food, so I won't starve. And then in relation to protein, I am aiming for 175 grams of protein per day, which is just over uh, 2.2 grams of protein per kg of my body weight, so that is absolutely plenty. And then when it comes to carbs and fats, I literally do not have any sort of goal when it comes to them. I don't pay attention to them really at all. And I just kind of let my food choices dictate where they end up on a daily basis. So yeah, that is what I am starting with. And them calories may change as the cook kind of goes on. But for now, I think I'll be able to make some good progress on them calories. And then in relation to cardio, I know people are going to ask about that. I'm not doing any formal cardio at the moment. Uh, my only kind of cardio goal, you could say, is my step goal so 70,000 steps per week and that is absolutely plenty for me at the moment all right everyone so I am gonna do a voiceover over this pull workout uh, just so we can have a little chat basically so just like my nutrition I like to keep my workouts pretty flexible so on each of my like days so my push pull and leg days I have maybe one or two core lifts uh, that I track on a weekly basis and aim to make really really good progress on over the course of of a number of weeks and then with the remaining exercises on each day I kind of changed them up uh, from session to session 
and just ensure that I am pushing myself uh, on each one. So here I was doing the Pendley row and this is an exercise that I definitely will uh, be tracking over the next eight weeks. So I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a great lat and upper back builder. It's kind of similar to a bent over bow bow row except you are lowering the bar to the ground basically and I was lifting 75 kg there uh, and there's a good bit of room for improvement so I will definitely be increasing that over the next few weeks. So next up we have the pull up and this will not be a core lift in my program so basically it's not going to be in my pull days in every single session and I will probably alternate between the pull up uh, and the lap pull down or something like that but as you can see when I do this exercise I like to keep it extremely strict in terms of form and in terms of tempo so I like to come to a complete stop at the bottom of each rep and I like to pause uh, for like a second at the top of each rep as well and that just ensures uh, that I'm not using any momentum I'm not like cheating in any way and all this all of the stress is going through my lats my upper back uh, and my biceps too so after the pull-up I moved on to the hex bar shrug and to be honest I've only started doing these like really really recently so I was making progress on dumbbell strokes for ages but it just got to a stage where they weren't challenging me anymore so the dumbbells in my in both my gyms go up to 50 kg and I could rep them out pretty easily because uh, I'm a beast but yeah I moved on to the hex bar shrug because I didn't really want to move to the barbell shrug I'm not a massive fan of that and I find the hex bar shrug really good for uh, really shortening your upper traps and what I like to do with them is a really slow tempo as well so I pause at the bottom and at the top of each rep just to ensure I'm not using any momentum because it's quite a short range of motion to shrug so you need to be getting every last bit out of it. Then after shrugs I moved on to the smaller less intense exercises. I didn't record all of them but I did record a few of them uh, and here I am doing the machine bicep curl and I really like pairing this with another uh, machine in the gym where your upper arms are at like a 90 degree angle so it's kind of like a preacher curl but it's not exactly like, like a preacher curl and you are curling from that position. So I like combining this machine with that machine because I find uh, it really gives your biceps a really full workout because you're curling from a position where your shoulders are down by your side and from a position where your shoulders are up in front of you and then after uh, bicep curls I moved on to the face pull and I really really like doing face pulls hello leg uh, I really like doing face pulls from this position from this seated position because I find when I'm doing them standing it's really easy uh, to lose balance and this just prevents you know takes that out of the equation completely uh, so you can really focus on the exercise and working your upper back and rear delts as well session complete I am actually so hungry right now but the good news is that I have a lot of calories left so I'm gonna have quite a big meal now so I'm gonna have some pasta which is cooking away I'm also drinking a Pepsi Max just to curb my hunger a little bit until it's ready I'm gonna have some veg I'm gonna have two of these turkey burgers that I made today and I'm gonna have some pasta baked sauce on top and boom there we have it so this meal has just under 800 calories and it has 62 grams of protein as well. Okay, so post-workout meal finished and I am still kind of hungry, which is not ideal. But sometimes I find like I'm never full directly after a meal, but if I wait like 15 or 20 minutes, that's when I start to get full. So hopefully, like that's what's gonna happen here. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up here and I am really interested in hearing your thoughts on the vlog. Do you like kind of the raw style of vlogs where it's just mainly me talking or should I change it up? Have you got any ideas? What do you want to see over the next eight weeks? Comment below and let me know. I would really appreciate it. And while you're at it, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as well. But yeah, my camera is literally going to die any second now. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.